I want a cheeseburger. Grilled onions. At Oakville's Gray Goat. Hi. Marilyn Ames and her friends. I don't like golf. Try and solve all the world's problems over lunch. I actually honestly believe that it it happened. Something happened. I don't know what. But there's one mystery no one in this small Grays Harbor timber town has ever been able to solve. They were just flabbergasted of what this stuff was. You know, they just couldn't believe it. What is it? Just like Jello o supper is very clear. On August 7th, 1994. I can't imagine for the life of me what this is. People in Oakville reported a rain like no other. Instead of droplets, gelatinous goo fell from the sky. I know I became uh, very sick to my stomach, severe vertigo. After Dottie Hearn touched the stuff, she had to go to the hospital and her kitty died. State investigators determined it was organic, but listed it as an unknown substance. The TV show Unsolved Mysteries failed to crack the case in the late 1990s. Perhaps the answer will come someday soon when the skies open up over another small community and the blobs once again fall to earth. But 30 years later, it remains an unsolved mystery. You might think advances in science over the decades could have helped investigators, but the state only had about a year to look into this. All the samples were lost. I don't know. It's still kind of spooky. Clarence Hankins remembers finding that goo on trees on his farm. He figured it was something from an airplane. They fly the aircraft over my property all the time. Rumors swirled about military experiments, even jellyfish parts that somehow made it up into the clouds. <laughs> I said somebody said somebody an airplane went over and flushed the toilet. <laughs> Oakville has its skeptics, but at the Gray Goat, they'll keep debating. Not that many people could have put that story together and stuck with it. Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.